A caustic bronco? Okay, here we go, baby. Here we go. This is what it's all about. We have the combo. We sacrifice two, and that's gonna leave us with one left over. Well, whatever. But now we got the rotten mouth viper. Typically, this wouldn't be like that insane. But guess what? Now, the Jolly Balloon Man, baby. Jolly Balloon Man is going to make another Rotten Mouth Viper. And because this is when it enters or attacks, they're just toast, right? So now it has two Blight counters on it, and they just take it. That is a good game. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Man of Man. And today, we've got a juicer for you. And I hope you're feeling jolly today. Why so jolly? Let's go ahead and dive right in. We got the Jolly Balloon Man. That is right now. I have absolutely, I understand why this card is um, white red from like a uh, playing perspective, but from a flayer perspective, this should be red black. In my opinion, the art is like so wild to me that, uh, okay, either way, let's go ahead and just dive right into what it has. It should be Rakdos colored. I, I will stand on that from a flavor uh, perspective, but whatever. Haste, create a token that's a copy of another target creature you control, except it's a 1-1 one, one red balloon creature token in addition to its other colors and has flying and haste. Now you have to sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step, but that's okay. Now, what is the best thing we can do is obviously we're creating a token of another copy. It's going to have to be a non-legendary. So immediately you kind of already see where I'm going with this, the Rotten Mouth Viper, because this, the Rotten Mouth Viper, you're going to be able to do it whenever it enters or attack so you're gonna get double the damage here so the jolly balloon man is gonna create a one one you're gonna get that on the rotten mouth viper immediately immediately the rotten mouth viper is going to hit him with the the blight was called a blight counter hold on i can't read this here yeah a blight counter but then because we have the jolly balloon man you get uh you get to swing in because it has haste so you get the enter with the blight counter and then you swing in and they get another blight counter i mean it is pretty devastating if you get this off that is obviously the best case scenario what is the other stuff here? We got the Evangelist. Obviously, Evangelist is really good because not only do you get that battle cry, because again, it has haste. It's non-legendary, so you don't have to sacrifice the other one. And then whenever you do sacrifice it, you're going to get another bat from it as well. So a lot of value that you have here. I am also running Toby, the Beastie Befriender, which is really cool. This thing reminds me of Monsters, Inc. Just so reminds me of Monsters, Inc. But whenever it enters, you're going to create a 4-4, can't attack or block alone, which that is kind of why I also... I am running a lot of these like a uh, little like um an Izumi informant and the skull cap snail because sometimes you kind of have this and then you they get rid of it and then they're like haha you can't do anything but it's like yes i can we can't attack or block alone that's why we have these little um i don't know weenies i guess these little discard weenies but also why we have these little discard weenies is we do have to have enough board presence for the rotten mouth viper to come out to play so that's kind of why we have that like nurturing pixie Hopeless Nightmare, Tiny Bones joins up, that tiny, like this kind of little package here. Obviously having the discard is really good. The Nurturing Pixie allows you to bounce it. We've kind of seen this before, but then you have the Nozumi Informant. And then by the time you've discarded their hand, hopefully, uh, then it's time to go in for the Rotten Mouth Viper and the Jolly Balloon Man. That's kind of the uh, the theme here. So we also have Anointed Affliction and Go for the Throat just because Mono Red is everywhere. For Lightning, I mean, if you have the colors for Lightning Helix, you might as well, which is that gaining that three life is very, very nice. So you might as well. You have the colors, you might as well. So this is just going to be Mardu Jolly Balloon Man. And I call it Jolly ETBs because we're just trying to really abuse the Jolly Balloon Man uh, ETBs with the Rotten Mouth Viper, Evangelist, and the Toby Beastie Befrienders here. So this is the deck here. Uh, pretty pretty simple. We're just going to discard early, and then we're going to hopefully get some Jolly Balloons later in the game. Pretty simple here. As always, we're going to give a shout out to the Mana Rocks. The Mana Rocks are the YouTube channel members and the patrons, and they just mean so much to my heart. They make me as jolly as this balloon man that should definitely be Rakdos colored, but um, we'll save that for another day here. Consider joining the channel. I am going to consider faking it so I make it. It is my dream to become a content creator uh, long term, full time, whatever. I'm not even close to that level at this point, but. I'm going to continue picking it to make it, so consider joining the channel. Consider joining the Discord. The Discord is free. The Discord is completely free. You don't have to become like a channel member or whatever for that. So, do just keep in mind that only you can help protect the Aether with me, so make sure to leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this. And without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Yeah, engine, how you doing here? We got a Jolly Balloon Man and a Rotten Mouth Viper. It's about as good as it's gonna get here, so we'll go ahead and keep this and see what we got for. Oh, that was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and give the opponent the friendly mulligan. Hello, everybody needs a friend when you take a mulligan, because those things suck. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, looking pretty good here. Let's go for this and go for a lovely hopeless nightmare and get you to discard real quick. Let's take a gander at what we're playing against here. Ooh, Torch the Tower. That doesn't tell me kind of anything really, to be honest with you, but. 
Who we got? Oh, Undead Sprinter. I have not brewed with this thing yet, but it is definitely a good card. Yeah, I'm, I'm for sure interested in this. So I don't have any really um too much worries here. I'm actually going to go for the Informant. I am a little worried. We can always exile with the Anoint with Affliction later. What I'm a little worried about is if they just like kind of empty their hand. I don't know if they just like are really low to the ground. Well, that's not low to the ground. Um, hmm, Okay. There's not a whole lot to worry about here. We could have the Jolly Balloon Man. Obviously, we want to get into our Rotten Mouth Viper and whatnot, but let's just play it safe here and just get Ryu for now. You know what? I'm actually going to attack. I'm not going to block the Sprinter. The Sprinter has Trample and stuff like that, so, nah. Pass on that. Another one. All right, not too worried yet. Just down to 12. 12 is not that bad, right? We get another Viper. Do I actually want to go for the Viper? I mean... Trample haste. I don't think it's really that big of a deal here. Let's let's go for this. Let's go for the Jolly Balloon Man. Let's get them to discard their very last card. Bam. Okay, it was another. Oh god, what well, was another undead sprinter? They can bring this back. When this gets sacrificed, it's actually kind of funny. Obviously, they can't cast it from there, but it'll get sacrificed, which kind of works against us. So we're gonna take one more hit, but I think we might be able to stabilize here. Bang bang. Here we go. Our, our, a classic Bronco? Okay, here we go, baby. Here we go. This is what it's all about. We have the combo. We literally have it in the palm of our hands. We're going to go for the Rotten Mouth Viper, and then we're going to make it a balloon. So let's make sure. One, two. We have to have one left over, but that is not going to be a big problem here. So sacrifice you. Sacrifice the Hopeless Nightmare. Sacrifice two. And that's going to leave us with one left over. Bam. Uh, like I said, I don't think it even really matters right now. They've got the Undead Sprinter that they can cast. Well, whatever. But now we've got the Rotten Mouth Viper. Typically, this wouldn't be like that insane. But guess what? Now, the Jolly Balloon Man, baby. Jolly Balloon Man is going to make another Rotten Mouth Viper. And because this is when it enters or attacks, they're just toast, right? So now it has two Blight counters on it and they just take it. That is a good game. Wow. All right, so it looks like we're playing against Rafine. I mean, I don't know. I thought Rafine got rotated out, but... Rafine, you're not sneaky. You're not sneaky. Let's see for... Oh, well, that was a mulligan. Let's go ahead and get the opponent. The friendly mulligan. Hello, everybody needs a friend. We take a mulligan because those things suck, so... All right, no mono red, so that looks pretty good here. But we are well acquainted and equipped to deal with mono red. But for now, we'll just go ahead and get you to discard a little something-something. I guess this technically could be a uh, Rafine colored. Not Rafine, but... Raffine colors, but now it's going to be mono blue. No problem. Get a little Jolly Balloon Man action. So, we'll just kind of keep at it here. Got the Skull Cap, Skull Cap Snail. I kind of, um... Well, I mean, that's a card to get rid of a card. I guess that's fine. Not really um, that big of a deal, though. Wasting a counter spell on a little snail, and they're going to miss a land drop, too. So, that's actually kind of funny, but... Um, should I go for the Toby? I actually don't know. Should I go for Toby? Or should I go for the Sanguine Evangelist? I'm just gonna go for Toby because it's a newer card, so why not? So we keep a 4-4. Four, four. It does get resolved. Probably wish they had their Phantom Interference now, but... Don't you dare! Ah, oh, it's alright, it's alright. Unfortunate, but... I mean, honestly, we can't cry too much, though. They should be the ones crying because they don't have any lands, so... I'm just gonna go fright for it. We got the Jolly Balloon Man. I always, like think of the Jolly Balloon Man as a, um, whatchamacallit, as a four drop, because we always want to be able to use this ability. So with Toby, I know you got rid of my other, t my other friend. You're not getting rid of this friend. Maybe. Unless you bounce me. Oh, another into the flood mode. That's fine. That's fine. That's completely fine. No problem. Uh, I mean, they are going to be missing all these lands. I mean, we're just going to do that again, right? This one. Okay. Toby is coming out to play. Toby's coming out to play. There's nothing you can do about it. So. Uh, I guess we will keep the one that does not sacrifice, right? This one's going to get sacrificed. We get one damage off, but I'd rather just keep the one that doesn't have to die at the end of the turn. And then we get another best friend. Okay, we're looking good here. Let's see if the opponent can at least snag a land here. I love showing off the balloon man and what we can do, but... Oh my god, another one. That is pretty brutal. If we get this to go, it's just over, right? Sanguine Evangelist is one of the... It's like the other best card other than the... Uh, uh, what should we call it? They're, they have nothing. They have nothing. Okay, they're, they're just done. We get the battle cry with our new balloon, Evangelist. Damn, that was, uh, that was domination. Anto, hello, hello, baby. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Mono red, maybe not. Maybe it could be uh, mice. So mice is still pretty, pretty aggro. Still got to be a little nervous about that, but we do have our lovely lightning helix. So 
I guess this discard will give us a little bit more. Ooh, Sunfall. So it's going to be most likely the token-y type of deck here. I don't know how I feel about the token deck. The token deck is a little scary, but let's go ahead and um, thin out your hand a little bit more, my friend. I think we honestly have a pretty bad matchup versus the token deck, to be to be honest, because we do kind of require... Like, we're like a mid-range deck. We're not really aggro. So the Sunfall Caretaker Talent type of nonsense, honestly, I don't know. It might even be our worst matchup. But let's, not have, let's not go ahead and delve. Or, uh, dwell, not dwell. Let's not dwell on that fact here. Let's go ahead and get our damage in from our lovely little snail. Let's leave a snail trail right up to the opponent's face and get a little tiny bones action going. That's right, baby. Mill! That's right. Submit one. Let's see if we get some, uh, a, a permanent that we can actually go for the tiny bones with. We do not, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And eight, what it isn't. Flanker? Ooh, okay. Gain two life, scry two. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... Should I Lightning Helix this thing? Not too bad, though. I mean, I could go for Lightning Helix and then kill the Flanker and then use the Tiny Bones to get our Flanker and steal it. Might be a plan. Let's see what they got here. Well, they have their own Lightning Helix, unfortunately, so that's going to put a damper on those plans. Mm, I guess I might as well Lightning Helix the Flanker, right? I mean... I, I guess feels kind of bad just because like we're targeting their creatures. Oh, Mirix. Mirix is actually like wonderful here, but I think it's still going to be the Jolly Balloon Man. If we can just get the Jolly Balloon, this is like what we have the Jolly Balloon Man for. So, well, I guess I, I forgot about Tiny Bones joins up. Um, There we go. And we get the Snail, Snaily Skull Cap Snail. Good God. See that five times fast. Get another little exile action. Thin out that lovely hand of yours. And they, I, did that. I think they did miss a land drop, I think, right? So not a problem there. Get rid of another Sunfall. That's actually pretty... Okay, that's actually pretty terrifying because... They're probably... Yeah, okay. I would think they want to keep the, the, sun, the Sunfall, but... I guess they're probably not... I don't know. Sunfall is like my worst nightmare. So I guess they're maybe like... They're just planning on like not having spot removal. Because I don't really have a ton of discard stuff. But then again, maybe they don't know that. Maybe they don't know that. Another land is pretty atrocious. We can at least... Before we do this, we can at least go for a map token at least one time. If we want to keep up the Mirex token. Another land is pretty gross. I think we're just going to have to take it for now, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll, go, we'll get the Mirex going here. Kind of flooded, which is gross. But let's just go for the Mirex. I mean, if they're missing lands... If they're dry and we're full, God, we're mega flooded. Okay, well, let's keep at it. Unless they got like some sort of um another lightning helix. It's not really that big of a deal though, really. Honestly, because now we're starting to tread into that territory. I guess we might as well drop the tap land here. We still have enough for a Mirix, but now we're starting to go into that territory where like the Mirix is now our win condition. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm completely fine with a Mirix win. That's why we have it. This is why we have the Mirix. Anoint with Affliction and Lightning Helix are both looking pretty horrible. But here's what's nice about the Anoint with Affliction. I mean, we actually do have that we can just uh, exile anything now. It doesn't even have to be a three drop or less with the Anoint with Affliction because now they have three poison counters, which is not really um, interaction. I was really expecting to be completely honest with you, but okay. I am, oh my god, we're really flooded here, but that's okay. We can still go in for a, uh, whatchamacallit. I mean, we have lethal next turn with the poison counters if they don't have, like, the dreaded sunfall or, like, a temporary lockdown, but you kind of figure that, yeah, there's this, okay. No problem. You kind of figure they had it eventually, so it is what it is. Let's go ahead and give one more. Still can take care of that token. Oh, Jolly Balloon Man. There we go. There we go. Jolly Balloon Man. This is, okay, this is actually not that bad. We did get flooded pretty hard here, but, um... Not oh, we actually got rid of another land for them, but that's kind of unfortunate. But um, let's see, we have enough for a we can do this and still have enough for another Mirix. Like, this is pretty good here. Woo! All right, Jolly Balloon Man gives us another Mirix token. Here we go, baby. Not bad, not half bad. So I guess we'll just pass. Yeah, we can still go for a Mirix one more time. Jolly Balloon Man blowing some toxic balloons. I think they discarded two and they used one, so that's three Sunfalls. You gotta figure, even if they had a, whatchamacallit, a uh, temporary lockdown that doesn't get rid of the Jolly Balloon Man, so... Skullcap Snail. Maybe we just use this, maybe they freak out a little bit. 
Maybe they freak out. I think we're still going to go in for the Jolly Balloon Man on a one of our little Mirix tokens here, but they might have spot removal, which is not the greatest thing. So I'm just trying to think here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, th I'm kind of thinking they have some sort of spot removal. So if I go for the Jolly Balloon Man and they just target the creature, that's a little awkward. We got the Abrade and they just said... That's a little weird. Yeah, I'm still going to go for it. Screw it. If you got, like, another st target... I'm a little, a little confused. Why did they get rid of that Abrade? The Abrade seems pretty good for right now. So, like, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. Incubator. I can take care of that. I can and will take care of that. I guess we'll go for Lightning Helix, I guess. Maybe we should go for the Anoint Affliction, but they can have something crazy. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Wow, Jolly Balloon Man and a Toxic takes it. Uten, you are no Ugin, my friend, but uh, we'll go ahead and keep this. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a little Hopeless Nightmare action. Hopeless Nightmare on turn one always just feels pretty good. You get a little bit of information, see what we're going against here. Another Sunfall. Okay, well, again, I think Sunfall is a little scary. It's not really our, fa our favorite ma matchup, but we can go for the Jolly Balloon Man and those Mirix tokens. Kind of get the, the ball rolling on some more toxic stuff. Not gonna lightning heal at your face. I think it's a little bit silly. We got the Rotten Mouth Viper. Show for the Evangelist. Play it simple here. But yeah, they have uh, a temporary lockdown. We do get rid of both of those things, but we keep the Evangelist. Here we go, babe. I mean, I'm just gonna go for it. They're at least one more turn away from being able to go for the um, aforementioned nasty Sunfall. So let's go ahead and do this. Jolly Balloon Man, fingers crossed. Obviously, they could have what? Um, Torch, the Torch the Tower would be really bad. Anything that exiles the Evangelist would be really gross, but as long as we get the kill, I guess we don't come out empty-handed. All right, they're probably figuring that that's what we're doing, but it is what I'm still going to do it. It's still the best move, even if they do. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. We at least get the back creature because we don't uh, get exiled, which is nice. So we don't have to worry about Sunfall for one more turn. Fingers crossed. All right, all right. So now we got the Rotten Mouth Viper. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm. I'm feeling a little uneasy. We could go crazy and go for the Rotten Mouth Viper. I wish they like. I wish they were tapped out so badly right now, but <laughs> this is it's oh man, it's so tempting. Let's let's try it out. All right, let's go ahead and go for this. As long as we have one left over, we can go in for the Jolly Balloon Man. So we'll do this because I think let's not overextend if we don't have to. This will be two. And then we have one left over for the Jolly Balloon Man here, so. All right, here goes nothing. Here goes everything and nothing at the same time. Okay, Hopeless Nightmare. Um, these discard stuff, I guess, I don't know. Like they're, they're okay, but I guess we're just looking for something better. I don't know. This is kind of, I hate to say it, we've, this is kind of the game here. Like, all right, you got the Rotten Mouth Viper. I don't feel so good about this. All right, Jolly Balloon Man, here we go. This is our, this is our play. This is our combo. No! Alright, get lost. Son of a bitch. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and give him a little cry face. Uh, you know, it is what it is, hey. It is what it is, and it ain't what it isn't. A sunfall, let's go ahead and get out of here. GG's. Dodge! Nabu or Nobu? I don't know how to say your name, but regardless, welcome to the show, baby. Show for the shadowy Backstreet Boys or maybe the cave. Uh, let's go for the Backstreet Boys. Let's go for the shadowy Backstreet Boys. I don't know what the hell I'm playing, but... Lightning Helix, Mono Reds everywhere right now. I think we'll keep it. I do have two forms of removal. Some discard stuff here. So Cacophony Scamp. Okay. We we like that. So I think we're just going to... It doesn't think it really matters here. I could drop the red for the Lightning Helix. But I think I'm just going to go in for the Anoint with Affliction anyway. Because I don't want the Scamp. I don't want the Scamp to really uh, die. I want it to exile. Oh, well, I mean... Oh, God. I actually kind of... Meh. I guess now that you're looking... Now that we're looking at this... I guess I screwed up there, because I, I, I would want to go for Lightning Helix on the Challenger. So that was kind of a misplay there. Oopsie. Okay, well, let's get our red down now. And now we can Lightning Helix. So we just took, what, whoa, some unnecessary damage there. All right. Sequencing. Who needs it, right? Mass for blockers. Sequencing is for winning or winners. Either way, either way. Let's get a little discard action going on. I'm a little nervous now. We do have 19 life. Monstrous Rage. Whoa. Well, if they're gonna get rid of Monstrous Rage, that makes me feel a little better. I mean, Monstrous Rage, really? That's the worst card in your hand? Alright. Skullcap Snail. This looks pretty okay here. If we go for the pig, I mean, I could go for the uh, the Snail, but I think this is a little bit better here. 
So we're gonna have to pay, what, two? But that's okay. What I like about the Nurturing Pixie is that actually, unless they have a Monstrous Rage, which they got rid of one, or they have that uh, Dreadmire's Ire, or whatever the hell it's called, like, we can we can block the, um, whatchamacallit, we can block the show off, and actually trade with it if they don't have any Thor or anything that increases their toughness. So let's get our little Snaily down. We're at 17 life. 17 life, and we've got the Rotten Mouth Viper kind of cooking in the background. What was that? A, uh, oh, there it is. We'll speak of the devil. There's the Dreadmire's Ire or whatever the hell. So they just got rid of two other things that increase toughness. So I'm going to block 100%. Why would I not? Yeah, sure. They have another Monstrous Rage, then eh, we, we just, life sucks. Yeah, why not? Hey, why not? Why not? No, no problem. Still at 13. Um, one card left in their hand. Got a Sanguini. I could, well, actually, I could just go for the Rotten Moth Viper. But it's going to damage in first, regardless of what we do here. It's kind of close, but I think it's just going to go in for the Rotten Moth Viper. We do get to go, um, we get the, get our win condition now. Cause it, I mean, if they didn't have the Trampler, I would think the Evangelist might be a little better here to just chump block. But because they can just trample over the Bat. Let's get the Viper down. I'm a little nervous. Hardfire hero, all right. One card left in their hand. Just one. Kind of sucks with the... Oh, they're swinging. All right, yep. All right. Jeez, oof, that took a while. That was uh, that was uh, absolutely agonizing, but I have no other move here. We're going to have to swing in. We can't just, like, not swing in. We got the freaking Viper out here. So it's going to be a non-land permanent. They just take that all, and they can go down to one, which is actually really gross. But we're going to take one. I guess, you know what, let's go in for the Evangelist. I mean, I, I guess. There's no guessing. We definitely are. But I guess we might be looking okay. I mean, that's this bat is going to block. So however much they pump up the Slick Shot show off, my little bat's going to block you. We're going to take one less damage. I don't care what happens. My bat is blocking this damn bird. And we're going to take one less damage. And we don't need to. Let's go. Syndrile, hello. All right, we got a lot of discard action here. So, uh, mo oh, oh, was that a mulligan? Was that a mulligan? Oh, uh, it was a oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what? No, no, we're not giving the friendly mulligan hello today. Not today. I am so sick of this damn ley line. Let's go in for the hopeless nightmare. We're not being friendly today. This ley line is on my last nerves. So, let's go for the hopeless nightmare. We do have the anoint with affliction, which is like the best possible thing we can have versus this deck because they can't, um, all their death triggers is just the problem, but. You know what? Honestly, let's go for the mirror so we don't have to pay for this. And then I just go over in for the snail. They only have one card left in their hand. If they didn't take like a double mulligan or whatever the hell, I think I, well, that's actually really good. Cause they can draw two cards with that with the ley line, but I think this is the right move. Just give them the discard, let's empty out their hand. I don't, I don't really want to drop the Evangelist. Maybe we just go for the Inform and get them to discard again. I don't know. This is actually pretty close. I do want to keep up the Affliction. The Anoint. But we go for the Informant? I mean, they, I mean, what are they going to do? They can't, they're not going to, they can't make use of anything. I guess it could be like a, like a shock and they shock our face. But like, they can't pump their own creatures. So let's just, oh my God. Oh my God. Are you serious? All right, whatever. It's fine. Uh, Cacophony Scamp, that's fine. They don't have any, like I said, they're in complete top deck mode, but now, now we can sit kind of easy. I don't want to say a like, kind of. I guess, I don't really care though, because it's pretty binary at this point. It's not like, oh, we're losing life. It's like, they either get like a clean swing in or they don't. Like, it's pretty, it's pretty binary in that regard. So I don't actually, I actually don't mind paying life right now. We have the Anoint with Affliction. I would, say, I would just take the one. I would just block and take the one and keep up the Anoint with Affliction for the Dreaded Birdie. But now we don't have to. Let's make sure we have at least one red, which we do. We go for Evangelist. And now we're starting to kind of really mosey along here pretty well. I think we can be aggro. Why not? As long as we have one Anoint with Affliction. I don't, I don't know. I mean... Heartfire here. That's not a pumper. That's not a pumper here. So we're looking good there. They still do not want to go in for the Bird Brain, which is completely fine with me. Let's go ahead and just kind of do the same exact thing. I think we might even have lethal next turn, but I'm swinging in, baby. We are the aggro deck now. And now, that I, like I said, I think now that they're starting to block, 
or like do that. Like that's not how you're gonna win with this deck here, but I guess they had to. No, they didn't have to. But they don't know that I have an Anoint with Affliction anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and get our little bat here. And we are so wide. Jesus, we are so wide. It doesn't really matter what they have here. We have 13 life, even if they did have a Monstrous Rage and they double Rage, just it's just not going to matter here. But let's go ahead and let them have their fun. I'm going to block here. Let's get them to hopefully force out whatever pump spell they have. They will get two. They will get two because of the Ley Line. But we've got Lethal on the back end anyway here. So they even did have their lovely Monstrous Rage. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute, Monstrous Rage. They think Monstrous Rage is going to save them. Well, it's not, but I guess we'll go ahead and just let them have their fun. Uh, they've had their fun. Get out of here. All right, whatever. So I don't even really care. Doesn't It does not matter. They're tapped out. They have no other resources here. We are not taking lethal. Our little bats go bye-bye, but we've got lethal now. That's GG's, baby. Let's go ahead and clank them up for them. GG's, they know it. Let's go. Mono Red goes down. You gotta, you gotta love it. Bass, hello. All right, let's get it going here. We got Toby, our beastie befriender. That one was looking pretty good here. Oh, God dang it. This damn ley line. All right, let's go ahead and fit out their hand here. Maybe we kind of uh, force them to, uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of coping here. Discard doesn't really help the ley line match up too much here. I guess they have Swifty. We got a, a one less threat to worry about, so. Do you have a go for the throat? Obviously, we would prefer the Anoint with Affliction. That's okay, yeah, that's okay. I think I do because again, if it's if it's um a kill spell, I definitely want to just use it now so they can't do their ley line stuff. Yeah, it's not even really a, a question. If it was an exile, annoying with affliction, we could wait. But if it's a kill spell, you just can't. So well, you're gonna take one from the show off. That's actually not a big deal at all. But now I'm a little nervous here. I'm a little nervous. Let's go in for Toby and the BC befriender. Actually, yeah, we, I, I keep that tiny bones always sneaks up on me. Get rid of their other ley line. Honestly, I would rather them draw into that ley line because it's a little bit too clunky and slow. Another show off, sure. 15? It's not too bad here. So we're going to be able to go. Man, man, should we go in straight in for this Viper? I guess the Evangelist can. Oh, it's close. Either way, either way, let's just swing in here. Let's just get our damage in before we do anything. Rotten Mouth Viper. I'm going to do it, right? Like, why not? Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess so, right? Let's do it. We think I keep our 4-4. I don't think they're, they don't have like the... That's not the way the deck plays. So I think we are going to be able to keep our 4-4. Our beastie. The beastie boys. I don't know. This looks actually pretty good. Yeah, I think I kind of talked myself into this. This looks pretty good. If we die, we just we just die. I don't have removal. So like, whatever. So Ron Mount Viper. Honestly, though... Uh, another land uh, if they have two pumps we're dead I mean one pump yep there's one okay one more pump and we're dead that's yeah, already 10 damage do they have another pump oh they do yeah that's GG's damn it we even got our, our rotten mouth viper out but it's just too slow for the ley line yeah it is what it is man no removal that's the way it goes the ley line gets us wah, wah. Fal that's a lot of work. I don't know. I'm going to call you Falco. How you doing, Falco? All right. Here. <laughs> the Ley Line. Oh, my God. The Ley Line of Death. Paul Patrick Crew, sure. At least we do have Lightning Helix. I, but honestly, though, in this very matchup, I do kind of prefer the Anoint with Affliction to the Lightning Helix. Felon Felonious Rage, excuse me. I mean, this is okay. 6-1. We take 6 damage here. And they don't have another pump. Like, this is, this is all right, though. There's our lovely... Excuse me. I felt a monster burp coming up. Excuse me. Um, there's our lovely anoint, and I think now we can kind of just chill, right? If it, again, if this was a lightning helix, I would have, uh, I would have done it on my turn. It's a little risky, though, because they could have snakeskin veil. So this actually is a little risky. Even with the exile, I think you can make the case that we should go for this, but... I, I guess that is a little risky, they, because of the green aspect. If it's just mono red, it's not hard at all, but... Yeah. Should I go for the... No, no, we, it's close. Because they only have one, I think I'm going to do it. Again, it's very close. So if we know they're short on land, if they had two lands here, no way I would would have dropped the snail instead of holding up the uh, helix. But yeah, okay, there we go. Exactly. No, we're fine. We're, we're completely fine. I think we do. Again, now we, we never want them to... We want them to be tapped when we go for our destruction stuff because of, you know, turn inside out, felonious rage... But we can we can just take our sweet sweet time with anoint with affliction. 
So we don't care about that at all, but we're looking good here, man. Wow, uh, looking good, we're looking great, because we won. Stuart Little, hello Stuart, how's how you doing here? All right, so hopefully we are playing against Mono Red. Pretty good hand, opening hand for Mono Red, but not looking so good for that. Guess we'll just go for the Hopeless Nightmare, thin up that lovely hand of yours, Stuart Little. Are you playing mice? I just, come on. Bloomboro mice, Stuart Little, mm, guess not, guess not. Is this Esper? Is this true blue Esper? Overlord, all right. Let's see what they got in here. Ooh, there's the eye. Oh, this is Esper. Okay, cool. So they get, they get back their eye, but don't they kind of want their eye in the graveyard? I guess we'll do this. I'm I'm already like kind of nervous here because if we do this and they have the uh, what what's it called um the one the sorcery reanimation thing, which I am gonna be probably building at some point by the way, but if they have it, all right, go for it, baby, go for it. Not really the yeah yeah I don't know. So we're getting stared down by the Millennium Eye here. <laughs> I can't get rid of it, so it's not really that big of a deal. But maybe I kind of uh, just kind of screwed up the uh, the sequencing here because like, we did get let them have this. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped. I should have gone for that hopeless nightmare. But we do get rid of it nevertheless, so we'll see. We'll see how much trouble we're in. Oh, Zer. Oh God. All right. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I have done that. I actually went with Abzan instead of Esper, but I kind of I have done the Zer thing. It's really good, so I do recommend it. You know what? I could go for like a snail and then go for Helix, but because Zer, because Zer has four toughness, I'm just gonna go straight in for this Viper. I think we kind of have to. Informant, a Vi another Viper. I don't really have the means to cast a second Viper, so so we'll just say no. We're just gonna, oh, and there's two snails. I guess not. We already have a snail in our hand. I'm just gonna say no. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I guess maybe just like um, maybe just like go for the throat or something. I, I don't know. I mean, it's not literally looking too great here. It is looking great if only if they don't have removal. But we're pretty naked here. We got a viper. No protection. No nothing. So this has death touch. What does this have? Death touch and lifelink, right? So I can't really block it. Mm, they kind of whiff, so that's nice. Yeah, Death Touch, Lifeling, and Hexproof. Jesus. I'll take that glad Not gladly, but I will gladly... Well, we, at least we get to live, though. That's actually pretty cool. Well, I mean, we have the Rotten Mouth Viper. Let's, let's go ahead and swing in. That, I mean, I wasn't expecting to live. We can get a Chump Block for the Skullcap Snail, but man, this is Zer. Ugh. Zer's going to be a problem. We'll get rid of the Eye. That's kind of cool. Let's see if they want to block. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Oh god, a white overlord. Yeah, this this deck is really good. Should I go for Toby? If they only had one card in their hand, I'd be a little more tempted to go for the Skullcap Snail, but I guess we play it anyway, right? What do I need the lightning hooks for? I can use the lightning hooks to kind of finish. Ooh, we got an Overlord. Ah, it's pretty weird though. Like, why are they get rid of the Overlord? Having, I feel like, I feel like that's pretty good. So that was the worst card of the two in their hand. That's pretty terrifying. Okay. So they get the eye back. I'm saying no blocks. Down to six, I go. Back up to eighteen, they go. Helping Hand, all right, there's the episode was called. I, was, I could not remember it. Helping Hand, that's what it's called. So Helping Hand, and I guess they could go for another. All right, they go for another one. So they're gonna be able to manifest Dread twice. Okay. They have a Lightning Helix, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like put enough damage on the board here. I mean, we do have the Rotten Mouth Viper, but because they manifest Dread twice, the Informant does absolutely nothing, which is really unfortunate. But they have lethal in the air, like obviously. Man, I don't know. I'm trying to look for a way out here. Let's go for the informant. I mean, we might as well, whatever. Well, another Zer, that doesn't really matter. But I guess I could lightning heal. We're gonna have to just go all out here. So if we lightning helix the face down card here, that gives them one less thing to go for. We got eight. Let's um This is pretty much do or die. I haven't even done the math. I have not done the math, but just from what I'm seeing here, it's not looking good. But let's go ahead and just swing it nevertheless anyway. 
I guess they can block. It doesn't really matter, though. We're going to have to just swing in, even with our little beastie boy here, right? <sighs> whatever, whatever. Yeah, we're, we're going to come up short here, unfortunately. They take a whopping 12. They're just going to chump block it, and that's going to be it. Yep. Yeah. GG's. That was a good match, though. And then the, uh, the Zer and the I, I mean, pretty good stuff here, but hey, it is what it is, man. GG's. King, you are the king of nothing. You are the king of nothing. We're gonna prove it. Gonna prove it to you right now. All right, let's go for the hopeless nightmare. We got the nurturing pixie and the hopeless nightmare, and that is just so aggravating. It's not red ley line aggravating, but it's just, I I know that it's aggravating because <laughs> I've been on the other side of it. So let's see if we can inflict the punishment. A tranquil frill back. Interesting. Okay. Okadoki. Well, I guess we'll do exactly that. We need white source, so might as well do this. We will we'll be able to go for the Black Cleave Cliffs on turn three. For no punishment, we go for a second Hopeless Nightmare. Mm, that's just, it feels a little dirty. It feels a little dirty, but it feels so good. And I think I'm being the villain today, so. All right, what do we got here? Mirix. Herd Migration. I guess that makes sense. They are kind of low on green, so they want to get the Herd Migration from the Mirix while they can. So let's go ahead and get rid of the Revealed card. But now that we have a Courtyard and a Cliffs, that is a little awkward, but... Swing on in and take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race, I hear. Up the Beanstalk, sure. Instead of just Lightning Helixing their face, I'm just going to go for the Hopeless Nightmare. Might as well. It's a little bit more mana efficient. Let's fish out our answers here. We get a Toby. All right, Toby's like decent. I guess we'll keep the Toby, right? I mean, if they go for Sunfall. We're at least one turn away from getting Sunfell folded. So let's we'll do this. Sure. Get a little Beastie Boy. It's a, let's just some good ass. Good, good ass. Good ass action. There we go. Sure, that's fine. Hopefully we'll get some, or you know. Don't have to worry about over one more turn. Actually, actually, they don't even have the white, so I guess it would be deadly cover up that we're worried about. Swing on in, baby. This is damage. I mean, I guess this is pretty much it, right? If we get deadly cover up, do we cry? If not, can we get Toby? Can we get can we get a win for Toby? And the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boy, rather. Only got one of them, but that's okay. Are right, we going to get Deadly Cover Up. Kick Sunfall. Sunfall's off the table. I guess we may as well just do this, right? Lightning Helix twice to their face. If, they, if they're passing the turn, I, may, I guess we might as well. We're not going to win a marathon, so let's try and win the sprint. Another land. We're, this is down to the wire. I mean, I think we kind of have to win this turn. If we don't win this turn... We won this turn! We win this turn, and it doesn't matter.